Hey guys, so today for um, Advent Day number two, we're looking at Noah. Um, Noah is this character that we know a lot about, and he's someone that we think a whole lot about because of the flood and, and the ark. But uh, a couple things that I want you guys to think about him with is that uh, he walked in such close fellowship with God that he stood out above all the people of the earth. And, and it was a wicked time. It was a time when there was a lot of sin. But how great would it be that if we could say that we walked in that close of fellowship with God, that we stood out uh, to God? Not because we want to stand out to those around us. Not because we want to stand out to other people in the church or other Christians. Or we want to be the best, uh, you know, for us. But that we want to walk closer to God in fellowship because he's God and we want to be close to him. Now, in that, we had, do have to realize that Noah, even though God did this miraculous, amazing thing, that he still failed God. He still messed up. And and through his mistake and through his through his mess up, uh, you know, we can understand that no matter how close we walk to God, there's still going to be times when we make mistakes. There's still going to be times when we slip up. But God gave us great promise in 2 Corinthians 5, 12, and he told us that God made... Uh, Jesus sin, uh, even the uh, even though he had no sin, uh, so that we might become righteous. So we can have confidence in the fact that even though Jesus had no sin, God made him our sin for for us. He was the sacrifice for our sin. So as we look forward to Christmas and what his birth means, and we look forward to him coming back, we can celebrate the fact that he became sin for you and for me, and we don't have to pay the penalty for what we've done.